Hey guys, my name is Mike or Kubera. We're going professional a little bit. We got the studio going. So I wanted to make this video to you, the viewer, the subscriber, maybe you unsubscribe because you didn't like me or my content recently over the past couple of weeks. We have addressed that. We have deleted the videos that didn't look too good and just the quality was bad. And we want to fix the quality of this channel because I'm looking long term for some mistakes I've made and I've learned from that as any other YouTuber or an entrepreneur really, you learn the best from your failures. And I thank you to those participants. Participants, what is this, the Hunger Games or something? No, okay, I know I'm wearing a business suit and all, but you guys are still just, you know, some viewers or, you know, maybe some cool cats just chilling from your MacBook, eating some Doritos while watching me. And you got frustrated because not all the videos were amazing. Some were rushed, some were just thrown out. Well, that's sometimes how it happens. I usually wouldn't do it, but it hurts me. It hurts me, but I'm apologizing. So hopefully you can accept that we can move on and I'm excited about the future because it's November now. We have some huge projects going on. I have a bunch of ICOs emailing me. So what we're gonna do is like every single ICO, we're just gonna pop, 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 pop. And I'm just kidding. That's not what I'm gonna do because I actually am ignoring a bunch of these ICO emails where I'm telling them like, sorry, I'm just not gonna work with you your project looks bad. And I know some of you have been affected by the fact that my reputation has caught a little ding, but there's been multiple factors and most of that has been related to the fact that I've been going to two universities at the same time. I couldn't really hire anybody and it's just been me. So I've been ignoring a bunch of emails. I've been ignoring a bunch of comments and it's like the little time I've had, I was just like, oh God, I have to make a video. So here you go, boom. I've been looking at how to maximize profits with you know the least amount of time input as I could because that was what any other guy in my position would do. I However, I'm looking at the future and just for marketing and cryptocurrencies and all of this connecting together. Not everything is a scam out there. I want to promote the good companies and the bad companies. Well, we're going to bring them to light because that's what the channel was about originally. If you feel this is a path that is going to be fun, you can stay. And if you think I don't deserve your subscriber anymore, as I said earlier in the week, you can feel free to unsubscribe. If you come back at any time though, you're welcome as is everybody. If you're a newbie, we'll be making some newbie videos. If you're an experienced trader, well, maybe I'm not the most experienced trader at the end of the day. I'm an amateur just filming from a camera. Even though everything's kind of upgrading slowly, the quality, I'm investing a little bit more time, a little bit more money, and I'm excited about the future. I will try and share what I can with you. And if you learn from other YouTubers, fantastic, because just remember, we're all biased. Every single one of us makes mistakes and you know, it's best to call them out, but also to kind of go with it because it's not like everybody's perfect. As an investor in cryptocurrencies, you're also at fault too if you decide to invest based off of one decision from one crypto YouTuber. Now, of course, I've never made individual calls like, hey, you should invest here and invest there because that's just silly, but there are some crypto YouTubers like that and they're getting some heat in their comments as well. So what's going on with that? Well, if you're investing just based off of one decision alone, well, you should probably look into other sources. So you're able to just kind of correlate everything, see if it actually makes sense or if it's just a bunch of can't say the word because we still have to be kid friendly, but you know what I meant. Anyways, oh my goodness. Aren't you a little worried about Bitcoin's crash? Da, 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 da. No, it's funny how everybody gets super offended about like, oh, well, you're either on one side or another. There is no black and white. You can't really go on one side or the other. It's not like you either love Bitcoin or you hate it. You love BitConnect, you hate it. You love this, you hate it. It's like, well, whatever you have to do to make a little bit of money here, you invest it for the best over there. It's like every single person out there is a little bit unnerved, but they're also excited. It's just this weird energy and they don't know what they're doing, but they think they know what they're doing and they just want to try their best. I think every single one of us tries and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. So in closing, regarding the ICOs, regarding sponsorships, regarding what's going on into the future, I'm looking back at the past and some of the ICOs that I promoted actually did extremely well. Others still have moved their dates back a little bit and things are looking decent. We'll see how those go. And once all have done their little thing, I will like to review and see what we've learned from that, whether people actually made money. I'm happy that some people made money from the projects that actually did 
do well, like Vibe Hub and all the others. Most likely I'll have to hire some staff pretty soon over the next couple of weeks because I'm just not able to respond to any comments, any messages, any emails, and it's just gonna take things to a new level when I have an assistant. As for the future, I will only be working with companies that I truly support as well. For example, with Indahash, I am investing my own money. I'm taking their own tokens. I actually went to visit the headquarters, and there's a difference between that and doing a Skype call. Of course not, not every time you're able to fly out and it's just like, whoa, whatever. But hey, not every company is bad. And welcome to business where we're all trying to succeed. We're all trying to change the world somehow. So hopefully you guys can respect that and we shall see you guys on another day. Also, just picture yourself. Just picture yourself. You're able to become a crypto YouTuber as well. You're able to do this. You're actually able to beat me. You're able to beat every single person if you want. But most of you probably won't because that's just how it is. But maybe that one person watching out there in the crowd. My name is Michael Cabrera. We shall see you guys on another day. Bye.